After giving these products some time, some at-bats, how are they doing and how would I rank them? Great question. Let's talk about it. Today's products in front of me, there are a variety of things. We're talking brand new from BoxyCharm and Ipsy and Icon Boxes. We're also talking about that were new to me from the drugstore, high end, it's across the gamut, makeup to skincare to hair care. So where am I at with these products that are new to my beauty space? I'm gonna rank them today. And the ranking scale is going to be a little fun. We're gonna have the possible declutters at the very bottom because quite frankly, I need to know what do I need to consider purging this fall. Then we also have the forgot about you section because it's kind of self-explanatory. I completely forgot about those. And then keep her on the roster. Something that we're still trying to figure out how we feel about. There's the like category that's still, you know, up there, but not top tier. The love, love, love category is clearly the things that I can't stop talking about. So you're probably familiar with them. And if you're not, you should be. Starting where my face likes to begin, I want to talk skincare. Something that I love, love, love right now, you've probably heard about it, is something I got from a boxy charm, I do believe. This is the Eight Saints Soulmate Brightening Treatment. In a rapid fire way, so I can tell you to get through all these products, this brightens. This does a really good job. Wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, kind of thought I was going to hate it. Ended up loving it. I think that the product is really good. I think it lasts all day underneath the makeup really well, but then the next day you can totally see how your skin is brightened. I use this in the morning and I think it is fantastic. Something I use every week. Newer to my collection is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer with SPF Skincare. This is something that I recently received from a BoxyCharm. I love that it has a pump, but it's a moisturizer and an SPF, which is why I really thought this was going to become something I adore. And technically, I do really like it. I've been using it now for at least about a month. I have it on today underneath the makeup and on the decollete a little on the shoulder here and I think it does a good job I'm not burned while doing this and I also feel like I am getting some moisture it's not something that I'm seeing too much moisture from though so I'm putting this in the like category I think this has done really great things for me it's not quite top tier but it is really good I'm trying to rapid fire these and I have no idea what the lists are ahead of time I'm literally going through this with you as I'm getting into the weeds and some of you guys told me I had to try this because you're the ones who told me my friend hot mess mom loves this mask and I was like all right I trust you I feel like I need to talk like her y'all this is the rose quartz muse mask and you guys were so right and she was so right about this hair mask I have used this now two or three different times I wanted to give this enough at bats my hair today is holding a lot of curl with hardly any product in it it is humid like crazy outside this is a hotter summer than last year you guys we be struggling here in the south and I have to tell you this is great. I've had minimal products in here and you don't see a ton of frizziness. You don't see a lot of my hair being weighed down. It's got a lot of life to it. I really think this mask is kind of a game changer for me and I'm already obsessed. Thank you, Hot Mess Mama, and thank you to you guys for telling me that I had to try this. This is gonna go into, I think the love, love, love category because my hair's been so difficult this summer. It's so hot. Something else that I was sent in PR for the hair that I am actually really liking and I thought I was gonna hate it. I really thought this was gonna go into the declutter section immediately. I don't know if it's quite love, love, you love yet though. Like, I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. This is the Pacifica Best Day ever dry shampoo and volumizer. Now the reason this I was unsure about, because look at this, you can kind of see here, it's a powder. This is a powder product. And when you puff it out, that's all that comes out. And then you work it into your hair, like at the roots. Actually, let's just do it. Puff, puff, puff. Do you see what I mean? Like I've never had one like this. I've had one that's more like a pour out, nothing with a pump. I like to do this and then kind of just go up in here. And as a dark brunette, I do not see any of the like overcast, white castness that it can tend to have. I feel like it's just like fluffing everywhere. But I feel like I do get some volume when I use this too. Now granted, I do have a lot of hair. So I think volume for me is something that I expect from something that can help my hair. And it does help like grip onto any of the oils. I did do a hot dog walk this morning with the kiddos. And yes, 
we've got some volume. I've used this now for probably over a month every week just to make sure I'm still vibing with this. And I think it's really good. This is something again that they had sent me. I'll link it below for you. Oh, but where am I putting it? Where am I putting it? I mean, I'm recommending it. I'm giving you a link. So where do I put it? I need to scooch over because I have a feeling this is where it's gonna be. This is gonna go not quite love, love, love because I don't use it every single day but I don't need it every single day, but I know I can trust it. This is the drama when you're trying to figure out where things are gonna go on the scale. I think she's going to land in the like category. Can I just tell you, there's something on my face that I am just, I'm, I'm trying to compensate for, to be quite honest with you. And I feel like my face is, ta it is tacky. It is still tacky. I've powdered so much. The thing that I think has kind of, maybe not ruined today's makeup, but definitely made it, extra shiny, extra sinking into lines is a setting spray. So I am pretty much out of a lot of my setting sprays, all the ones I know I can trust. Drop your recs below because your girl is struggling right now. That I'm going into the backup drawer of things that I'm like, oh, I was gonna give this away, but I need a setting spray that isn't dewy because the only ones I have are extremely dewy and it's hot and I have oily skin, but this one didn't say dewy. So I thought I'll be safe, I'll be fine. And there's not even a ton of creams on my face today, but this is the set to last dear midnight setting spray. I got this from like, I think a subscription bag. Maybe was it the Ipsy bag or the boxy charm? Either way, I was, I think planning to get rid of this, but did I try it? I can't remember. My face feels so tacky sticky and I've powdered a ton, especially in the areas that I know I've done work. I know I've done extra powders, extra set downs. So I wouldn't have creasing. Oh my gosh. It makes me so extra shiny, even though it says no dew on it. Like That's why I picked this over the other stuff that I have in my collection. This does not say dewy anywhere on it, but oh my gosh, I, I feel like I'm wearing all highlighter all over my face. Things are feeling tacky. They're not setting right. So I don't, I don't. I don't think this is gonna stay very long once I have like an actual setting spray. I'm gonna put this in the possible declutter pile. I'm fine with indie brands if they work for me, but it's not making my makeup last. If anything, it's moving around so much more. Now this next product, I know if I do use it, my skin will look great, my makeup will last, but if I don't powder like a fiend all over my face, it's gonna be tacky sticky too. So this is a love, not love relationship with this next product that was sent to me from Ofra. I do really like it though. I like how it makes my makeup last even in this heat, but if I'm not prepared to do a full beat, the Ofra Glow and Grip Primer can be too much. As in like, it'll still have my face brown sticky and I'm gonna definitely look glowy. I'm gonna look like an angel glowing from above. And because the, there are drawbacks, but I still really like this product, it's in no way gonna be decluttered anytime soon because I think this is gonna be great once the heat goes down. I think um, this is gonna be a keeper on the roster because I like it, but uh, I haven't worn it a ton because I know that I have to really work with it. It's a little temperamental. She's a little bossy. So we're gonna keep her on the roster. I think I bought four of these total and I am obsessed. I have one in my handbag. I have one next to my bed. I have one next to the side of my couch because I have a side on the couch like Sheldon Cooper. That is this really, really inexpensive but amazing quality AOA Studio I Love Do lip oil. I have two different colors of this and it is so good. I put this on before bed. It is long lasting. It doesn't move around the face too much. It is a high quality, low cost lip oil. I love that. Thank you AOA for making this happen. You are going to go in my love, love, love category because I've bought so many of you and I have you all over my house and in my handbags. Thank you. I'm obsessed with a new perfume. And it's not even that new to me. I just kind of forgot about it, but now I'm obsessed with it. So the question is, is does it go in the I forgot about you pile? Cause it did forget about you. But then I realized once I talked about you in my very recent BoxyCharm six month review video that I had kind of forgotten about this, pulled it out and love it that I've been wearing it every single day. And Adam has not complained because he's very worried about scents. Is the Mason Louis Marie number 13 perfume. I love the smell. Um, I do think it gave me a little bit of a neck zit, but you know what? We're fine with that. I do put it a little down the neck, a little on the chest, on the wrists. I really like the scent. I think it smells really good. The only thing I don't like about a rollerball is I like to spritz in my hair, but other than that, I, I still smell this really well. I don't feel like I need that extra coating because I feel like once I have it on me, it is just mm, 
so good. I'm gonna call this like. I do really love it at the moment, but like I said, I totally forgot about it and had to rediscover it. So it wasn't like an initial first love. It was like we had to we had to take some time. We had to woo each other a little bit. Had to have a little wooage. So we're gonna put her in the like category. I bought this. I bought this very, very high-end product. Luckily with my discount though, because it's expensive. It's a $55 powder foundation from Natasha. This is the High Glam Powder Powder Foundation. Powder was foundation and powder as, as one word. You, you probably figured that out. So here's the thing. I saw the ads for this and how it just wiped all of the pores away and it looked like a clean face. And I was like, talk less to me because I just need that. Like that was some serious dirty talk to me with my big bossy pores as a lot of you guys know. But uh, I used my discount. If you're gonna get it, use my discount because you need to save the money because it's so expensive and I haven't used it nearly as much as I wanted to. Now I will say when I have to deal with some of these other things like a really bad setting spray that's making me feel super like my makeup is still moving and tacky or this little baby that makes me really shiny and also makes my skin tacky. This is a great way to fix the face. Like after you've done all the stuff or if you want to use it with it. Actually, I have done that where I put my most sticky primer that does great things, but really sticky. I put that with it and it's a great combo, but you know, some days I just want a little lighter. So I do use this from time to time with a brush and I don't need a ton just to kind of like fix the nose, fix some things but I haven't used it as much as I thought I would this summer to really like wipe out all of those pores, give me that really easy breezy look. So I'm hoping I love this more once the humidity goes down and I'm not dealing with such sweat face. Sweat face is what I'm gonna call it because this is the, is this summer so much hotter than last summer, you guys? I'm gonna put this, oh, this one's gonna hurt because I spent my own dollars. This is the keeper on the roster because First of all, we paid way too much money for her. Second of all, it's going to be, it is a good product. I just haven't used it as much as I thought I would and I'm hoping it's just the season of sweat. <laughs> so let's put her in, keep her on the roster and I'm hoping to love her more this fall. Let's talk blush because I feel like I've gotten a ton of blush and I don't know why necessarily because it feels like blush has been around for a while but right now the blush just keeps coming at me. So a blush palette that I've recently received, well I've gotten a couple of those, but this one that I got from Ofra is the Head in the Clouds. I got this in PR and this is a combination of blush and highlighter and I have to say they go beautifully together. I've done eye looks, face looks with this, it's so good. I'm not wearing it today though because these are pretty bold and I feel like when I'm wanting to be more bold I can absolutely use these. The highlighters are really yummy too. They're a shifting type highlighter where you're gonna get those duochrome looks. Like beautiful, yes, on the lids, on the face. We talking stunning. We're beautiful little unicorns and look at that. I mean, not mad about it. But do I use it every week? No. Do I use it all the time? Not, I, when I first got it, yes. But when I, after a while I did not. So I think we're gonna put this in the keeper on the roster. I think there's more looks to be had with this, absolutely. But is it an everyday pro product for me? No. So I'm gonna put her on keeper on the roster. Well, you know what? We gotta pull this out too then because I just said we get a lot of blushes. This came from a Boxy Lux. Oh my God, Boxy Lux is not a thing. <sighs> Catch up with the times, Nicole. It came in an icon box. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Phase Prism Blush Palette. Love her. She's great. I would also say because this is very approachable for me, I do find myself wearing this probably at least once a week. So I'm going to say mm, I'm stuck between like and keep her on the roster because palettes aren't always something I think of. And that's why I'm probably not wearing either of those today because I'm wearing a single. I could put more on today though. I mean, I feel like, I feel safer going into something like this too when I'm doing like a mid video touch up because some of the other ones would be a little too bold and I can really work with this. Okay, she just told me she's going into the like category. It's a step up. Now this next blush I think of a little bit more because it's a single and it's interesting because it is an indie brand. This is the Periwinkle and Pop Soft Sculpting Blush from Saffrine Botanicals. She is very pretty. She's also very 
I don't know, there's some dew into her, but it's not an overwhelming dew. Like right now in this swatch, she looks pretty bold, but she can also very much mute down when you blend her in. And then she becomes a little bit more low from within, but because of the setting spray, I'm worried that it would be too much. So I did not pop this on today, but she's really good. I've noticed I like her a lot. I think of this for more of those just very bare, peachy cheeked face days. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this in the like category. Who knew? Y'all. Ofra and Hot Mess Mama came in to play this summer and I love it. I have two, count them, two Hot Mess Mama palettes in here along with some lippies from their recent collab. And I am so excited about it that I have to put it in here because I got them in PR and I love them. Have you seen my shorts? If you've seen my shorts, you've seen me try these. The first one I have to talk about is her brand new hot pink palette. Look at this. This is the sweet and sassy palette just like her and it is so stunningly beautiful. I have definitely played with these, put these on the eyes. I think they are stunning, they are beautiful. I also really love this like cookie shimmer in here that she has. This one is called Sweet and Sassy, again, a lot like her and it is so so beautiful. It's so natural. It looks great on the eyes. It could also look great for a highlighter obsessed. I am going to say now I am biased not only because this is a friend of mine, but also it's a great quality palette. I think Ofra is a great brand to be able to put on the face, on the lips, anywhere you want. I'm definitely going to be putting this in the love, love, love category, and I'm so proud of my friend. Great job, Rhonda. And of course, like I mentioned, she has lippies as well. I have both of them on today. Well, one of the lipsticks and then one of the glosses. We have the Gemini and the Hot Mess Mama lipstick here that are both Stunning. For today's pout, I have on Hot Mess Mama right on my lips. Rhonda, I got you right here. And then I also have on her lip gloss Butterfly Kisses. That just reminds me of the song Butterfly Kisses. Makes you want to cry. So yummy. Really accents a pout. You can see here, it's just so universal and really gonna go with a lot of different skin tones. I love it. I've already said I love it. Love, love, love. Definitely going in the love category. Her whole collab. Along with her mini mix palette, I got that as well. Look at these neutrals. I have this on my eyes today. I had this whole palette on my face yesterday. This is her unconditional mini mix palette. It's so good. I'm so proud of her. Get it, girl. We love supporting our friends and we love women supporting women. Also, I have to say I've become obsessed with this particular highlighter. This is called Beach from Ofra. And I've had this on my eyes so many times, also on the face as well, but let's go down so you could kind of see, like, can you see how, I mean, how juicy this looks, how golden-y sexy this looks on the eyes, on the face, it is stunning. It's such a pretty shade that I feel like it could work for a lot of different skin tones and it's perfect for summer. So perfect, love, love, love it. It's called Beach and I'm putting that in the love cat. No, I gotta take it down. I gotta take it to like because I'm not doing a ton of highlighters. I gotta put it in the like category. That's just fair. I actually have more products, but I feel like I need to cut this video back. So if you like this style of video with all my new products, please tell me in the comments below. Hit the like button so I know. Tell me so I know if you wanna see another part of this because I have so many more products in here, but this is getting long. The last product that I have to mention or I'm lying to you is the AOA Studio Perfect Powder. This is a finishing powder that I have become obsessed with and it's what I've been using throughout this video <laughs> and other times to really fix my makeup. I set my face with this every single day. This is the shade Honey. You guys, this is so good. This is a great powder that I use. It has just enough opacity that it just makes your skin look creamy and it is called a blurring finish because it's anti-shine and it blurs. It just makes everything look all back together even after I've been sweating um, all day in these really hot summer days, which I love usually, but whew, man, this year's been hot. It is making my skin look so yummy. Back together, very blurred, very easy breezy, and it's like $1.88. We love that. If they have honey back in stock, that is the shade that I have been loving and I highly recommend her. Going in the love category, where's my pen? I have to write that down. Love, love. I love when I love things. I have categories in here that I feel like I didn't really touch because there's, again, more that I wanna talk about. So let me know if you wanna see part two of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know where does any of this fall on your radar or did I make you think of things? Tell me, I love hearing that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.